Hey guys, I was working in my garden today and guess what I found? A wiggly, squiggly earthworm. You guys see him moving on my hand? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's put him back down in the dirt and see what he does. You guys ready? All right, buddy. There he is in the dirt. And now he's gonna dig himself back in there. Whoop. almost gone that was really cool guys I'm gonna go inside and get cleaned up and then we can learn some more about worms yay bye hi guys who's ready to read a story about worms the name of my book is yucky worms uh-oh these worms don't like that very much this worm says how rude and this worm says we're not yucky. And this little worm says, I'm very nice. Let's read about these worms because I don't think they're really yucky at all. Do you? Let's find out. One day when I was in grandma's garden, grandma dug up a slimy, slithery, wiggly worm. Yuck, I said. Throw it away. Throw it away? Grandma looked horrified. Would you throw away one of your friends? You can't be friends with a worm, I said. You can't even tell which end is which. <laughs> yes, you can. Watch. And Grandma put the worm down. It gave a kind of squirmy wiggle and disappeared really fast, pointy end first. As the rounded end vanished, Grandma said, there goes its tail. I bent down to look and I could see it had left a little tunnel. Where did it go, I asked. Home, Grandma said. It's an earthworm and it lives underground. But what does it eat? Dirt? I wanted to know. It eats tiny, tiny stones and bits of dirt, Grandma told me. But worms eat other things, too, like rotting leaves and flowers and fruit and dead insects. They especially like eating at night when it's cool. The stones and the dirt help to grind everything up in the earth in the worm's stomach. And then the worm poops it back out. Yuck! <laughs> Grandma pointed at the flower bed. Look, can you see it? I bent down and I saw what looked like a weird, long, curly worm made of dirt. That's worm poop, Grandma said. It's called a cast. Can you guys say that? Cast. Good job. You know when you recycle things? Well, worms do it too. There's still a lot of goodness left in the things a worm eats. And when the goodness comes out again as poop, it helps plants to grow big and strong. And as the worms move around, under and on top of the soil, the poop gets spread around the garden. That sounds really yucky to us, but that's what helps our plants grow. And that's why worms are my friends. Grandma gave me a thumbs up. And it's not just their poop that's good for the plants. The tunnels they dig loosen the soil so their roots can stretch out 
and air and rain water can get in. Look at that. You see all those tunnels the worms are making? That's helping these plants' roots grow down deeper and get stronger. That's cool, isn't it? But it's dangerous being a worm, Grandma said. I stared at her. Dangerous? I asked. She smiled at me. Lots and lots of animals think worms make the most delicious dinner. Do you guys know any animals that eat worms? Let's see. Birds love them, and so do moles and badgers and frogs and hedgehogs and foxes. Even some slugs eat worms. And human beings accidentally slice through them with spades and spikes them with forks. It's a tough life. That does happen sometimes if I'm digging in my garden and a worm gets in my way. It's bad news. Cutting them in half doesn't hurt them, Grandma, I said. They just turn into two worms and keep growing. Grandma shook her head. Poor worms. Lots of people think that, but it's not true. She put her fork down. Time for a snack. Grandma had tea and I had orange juice. Can I dig up a worm, I asked. If it rains, Grandma said, the worms will come up on their own. I took a cookie. What if it doesn't rain? Grandma winked at me. We'll use the watering can and pretend. I finished my cookie as fast as I could. Can we trick the worms now? Grandma filled the watering can and I watered the ground. Then I stood back. I didn't want any worms crawling around on my shoes. They only put their heads out, Grandma promised, and it'll be a while before they do. Grandma was right. I had time to eat two more cookies before she said, look. Wow, I said. I could just see the tip of a worm down in the ground. Now watch this. And Grandma stamped her foot and the worm disappeared. Did it see you, I asked. Grandma shook her head. Worms don't have eyes, but they feel vibrations. And a thump like that might mean a hungry bird is landing. Danger! So worms can't see it. All they can feel is the rumbling of people walking or animals walking. And they know that they better get out of the way. Grandma dug her fork into the ground. Up came lots of dirt and wiggly worms. She picked one up and washed it in the watering can. Mustn't drop it, she said. They can't swim. Grandma put the clean worm on some paper and held it near my ear. I could hear a tiny rustling noise. What's that? They're covered in little bristles, Grandma said. The bristles and their muscles help them move. That's how a worm moves. I've got muscles too. I bent my arm so Grandma could see. Do you guys have muscles? Let me see. Oh, you're so strong. If you've got so many muscles, she said, maybe you'd like to help me plant my sunflower seedlings. Okay, I agreed. And then I thought of something. When I go to school, I'm going to say that I've got lots of new friends. Good idea, said Grandma. But, I said, I might not actually say they're worms. <laughs> That's so silly. So let's see how we can be a wormologist. Things that you can look for when you go outside, guys. You can look for worm cast in your garden or in the park. Remember what worm cast are? It's poop. And you can look for leaves sticking up out of the ground. And you can look for worms on the surface after it rains. It's a very rainy day today, so hopefully we can find some worms later. You can experiment by watering a dry patch of grass or dirt and watching to see if the worms come up. If you have a watering can like they did in the store, you can water the ground and then wait for a little while and the worms will start to wiggle up. 
tapping on the ground to see if you can make a worm believe it's raining, or you can carefully dig up a fork full of dirt and counting how many worms you find. When you pick up a worm, remember to be respectful. A worm is a living creature. Check how it feels. Is it smooth? Is it slimy? Can you feel the bristles? Watch how it moves. Put the worm back onto the newly dug soil and watch how it wiggles away. And then always wash your hands after touching those worms. You don't wanna get those worm cast on you, do you? Pretty neat, huh? I love worms. Next time I talk to you guys, I'll take you down to look at my worm, my pet worms that I have downstairs. That'll be our next talk we have. What do you think about that? Let's sing a little song about worms before we go. You guys ready? This one's super silly. Here it goes. Make a little worm finger for me. Can you guys do that? Take your finger and go up and down, up and down. It's like a little workout for our fingers. We'll pretend it's a worm. Wiggle, 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 worms wiggle all around. Wiggle here and wiggle there. Wiggle in the ground. Crawling, 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 worms crawling all around. Crawling here and crawling there. Crawling in the ground. Digging, 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 worms digging all around. Digging here and digging there, digging in the ground. Good job, guys. All right, I want everybody to see if you can go outside and find some worms with your moms and dads. And I want you guys to draw me a picture of a worm. I can't wait to see them next time we talk. I wanna see who can make big worms and who can make small worms, and who can make wiggly worms, and who can make straight worms. I can't wait to see all your worm drawings. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.